Hello everyone, and this is a tutorial. Uh, I'm new to the tutorial scene. I don't know if there is a tutorial scene, but I'm part of it now. Uh, <laughs> uh, I've noticed a lot of people asking about Cargo Dist, Cargo Distribution Mod for OpenTDD ever since I've got a shitload of subscribers from Yogg's Cast doing a stream. And a lot of you want to have the Cargo Dist mod, which I used in the first part of my LP. Uh, which eventually crashed and I ended up uninstalling it but don't let that impact your decision if you're watching this and you've probably already decided to get up um, cargo dist and are no doubt looking how to install it so I'm going to show you watch and learn <laughs> right so first things first Google most important tool car oh, no cargo dist right so you see you've got open TDD wiki wiki official like open TTT forums and then this you can say I've already been on it because I, I sort of went on it to make sure I knew what I was doing first if, if I could remember how to do it so you go on that index of cargo disk and you get this screen which looks like um, an FTP server and you go into latest and then latest you get all this and don't shit yourself in panic uh, all you do scroll down you're not bothered about the TARS or the midsomes uh, checksums even, not midsums. Uh, all you're interested in are the zips, and not the midsums. The checksums, the all. Right, see how you got Windows 64 there? That's a uh, thingy out because that's my my system's um, x64. You've got your Windows 32 bit, and you've got your Linux, and Probably Mac somewhere, I don't know, seeing as I've, I've never used their Mac OS. So, you, I'm assuming Mac, every Mac would use that. Linux would... Don't know. I'm, I've never used Linux. Um, and Windows, if you've got an X32 um, or an 84, I think it is, you use your 32. And if you've got an X64, was it 86 I think whatever whatever the numbers are use that one unless you've got a 64-bit system use that one right so then you download it I'll just open it you don't actually need to save it there's the old download there I'll just clear that oh fuck off fuck off this is going to be such an informative tutorial. Right, so you've got that up. Now, minimize. Yes, there's my desktop in all its glory. Um, so, you go to your OpenTDD folder. Highlight everything and go copy, control and C. Now, make a new folder. Call it whatever you want, bitching cargo disk, yo. Paste you, the contents of your OpenTDD folder. I do this because if cargo disk fucks up, I've still got my OpenTDD folder. You can easily just place it over your OpenTDD install, but I wouldn't advise that. Um, so, cargo disk, highlight everything in that, and paste it over the top. Go yes. Fuck off. Go yes. And, amazingly, that's your done. Just to prove it, I will show you that it is working. You can see up there straight away, it's not like the release candidate number, it's, um, ah, my ears. I know there's probably not gonna be any sound, but you may be able to, I'm gonna turn that down actually, that's really loud, my ears. Thank God for my uh, headphones with volume control on the cables. Right, so, go new gear load it up and just I'm just going to build like a simple thing simple system All right so first I'm going to just like sort of build a small railway unpause it first that would be helpful from there to there just connect that shit up oop missed it yeah, you can see the resolution that I usually play open to, wait, not usually play, I usually play full screen, but when I was LPing it, that's the um, resolution I had it at. Simply because it wasn't worth the time having having a larger screen for 
LPing purposes because YouTube compresses it down anyway and it's saved on upload times. So we can get a shitty train, that'll do. And a passenger carriage, just get a couple of them. And go to there. And go to there. Right. So that's on its way. And then just um, to show you that cargo disk is working, build a bus route. From like there to there. So now. Right, do that. Yeah, this, like I say, I've never done a tutorial before, so this is probably going to be the, one of the worst tutorials you've ever watched. But hopefully it is informative, and that's the main point of a tutorial. I don't know where the posh voice came from, it just happened. Well, don't look at me in that tone of voice, I, I can't help it. Right, so to speed things up. Cargo disk only starts working when, they've when the sort of vehicles are arriving, which have already came from somewhere else. Right, so now in Rondonworth, if cargo dist is working, you should see passengers for Trenningville and for Tentenberg. So you go here, go plus, plus, 41 passengers via Tentenberg, 46 passengers via Prentingville. They're going to Tentenberg and they're going to Prentingville. As you can see, the railway line is more popular than the bus line. So that's basically it. That's cargo dist installed and ready for you to go in and blow shit up like this. Plow! Yeah. Right. <laughs> delete. Delete. Fuck the authority, just delete the fucking thing. Oh, well that's fucked up anyway. <laughs> I'm not saving this, so I'm not bothered. They can hate us all they want. Right, anyway. That is how to install cargo dist. I thought it would be easier to do because I got, I got a YouTube PM off someone. I'm actually going to come out of that because I can't hear myself think still. Um, because <clears throat> I got a YouTube PM about like how to install cargo dist, and I've been noticing a lot of people asking where to get cargo dist as well. So, um, save as copy and paste in the same answer to them all the time. Uh, I thought it would be easier just to do this one video, and then I can refer everyone to this video, and I can copy and paste the link to the video rather than copy and paste me answers, which means I'm not actually saving myself any work, but hopefully it's more clear. So, yeah, I hope this has been informative, and I hope you enjoy your shiny cargo list. I don't know why I shouted that at you, but I did. Because I want you to enjoy it. Enjoy cargo dust, otherwise I'll come to your house and I'll fucking fuck you up. In a nice way. Because I'm a nice person. I'm not angry. I don't know where you'll get that impression from. But anyway, this, this, uh, I see, even when I'm making a tutorial, I can't help but ramble on. Right, that's, this is the tutorial ending. I will see you next time. Until then, farewell. <laughs>